Ah, I have access. Hello, hello, hello. So for this part of our um, animations workshop, we're going to look at Victoria's High Heel Walk by XP32. Now it says with BBP. Now, I don't know if that means BBP is already built into this or what. It says what does the mod do. It causes Skyrim females to walk in a very natural and feminine hip swing with a very natural and feminine hip swing. Okay. XP32 skeleton required. It says not compatible with other walk animal walk animation replacers like TBBP. So this might be its own thing. It's not compatible with TBBP, okay? So here's what I've done because I don't want conflicts, I don't want crashes. I'm going to show you. Um, let me show you. So our other animations in our animation workshop, I have all turned all of them off. So that we, we don't have any conflicts. I turned all these off and we just have this. Turn, well, I didn't turn that on. Let's turn that on. We have that turned on and everything else is turned off. So this is the only animation we have turned on. So we're only going to look at the girls. So we're only going to look at Lavender for this. Because the guy is going to be unaffected. Um, now I don't know if we need this or not. We'll find out. This doesn't really say. So I'm not sure. So we're just going to see what we get, okay? We might have to come back and turn this on and see if we can, but, but I'll let you know if that's the case, all right? So I'm going to hop out and do a reset, and I will be back and see you in the game. Oh. Oh, I'm so sorry. I'm doing a horrible job today. Anyway, so this is Victoria's High Heel Walk with BVP. Now this is ported by Mick Dundee 101 but originally was done by XP32. So that's funny, it's originally by XP32. The download size is about 471 kilobytes. Okay, so it's not very big. Again, not very big. And you'll notice XP32, so they're the ones that did this and ported by Mick Dundee 101. So we'll see how it looks, okay? All right, all right, see you in the game. All right, so we're here on Lavender to try this out. Now, okay, so the MIG Dundee walk does work. It does show, and it does have BBP with it. It looks like she's skipping rather than walking, though. That looked kind of weird. Let's try that again. You know she's not wearing heels, though. I wonder if that makes a difference. And you know she can still walk to the camera. Maybe it's how. So yeah, this does work, and it does give you a certain bounce. And let's see. I guess if she run, well, that that running animation that looked kind of weird, didn't it? Let's try that again. She is getting a certain amount of bounce and everything. Like I said, I'm not sure. Is that running though? That doesn't look like running really, does it? But there you go. Now her running here looks fairly normal. Her walk is a little more a little more hippie, yep. That's not the same. Now this is not the same as the other the catwalk that we see a lot of times. This is a different it's not bad. It's it's a different walk. Definitely something that you can use. And if you like to see the little jiggle, then there you go. You've got that. Um, I'm not sure if you're getting... Well, I guess you are. It's hard to say. You're definitely you're definitely getting some some buttock movement, I guess, you know, of a kind. So 
you know, it's it's whatever you like, however you like things. Um, so at times it looks like she's skipping instead of walking there. You see that? I don't know what causes that. It's like I'm in between the walk and the run, I guess. And maybe she doesn't know what to do or the the animation doesn't know what to show. Maybe that's the problem. So yeah, you have to just decide if you like that. This seems to have its own um, physics built in. So you have to decide if you like this over the, the, the usual one we see in uh, in the maximum skeleton that I usually use. Um, this definitely, I don't know, it has its own appeal and I'm trying to figure out if, if this is better or not. I mean in ways in ways it is better. Hmm. It's interesting so Maybe we could take a look at some of the NPCs and see how they're doing. Let me do a quick walk around here. I'll be back. Working. All right, so we're just looking for some of the girls to come walking down the street and see what we think. Yep, Grandma's got a little motion. I guess she does too, doesn't she? Yeah. Did you need something? So yeah, I mean that's something you can see that going on. How about the guard there? Yep. So yeah, I mean this is one thing and it does it does work. It's a different look than the other. Everybody's not doing the catwalk thing, so I guess that's good. So I guess that's something. That's not bad. Hmm. These fruits and vegetables are disappointing, Carlotta. I get them fresh from the farm's daily, does not If you were getting them from my farm, they'd be twice as fresh. Alright. Nazim is being a jerk again. I was waiting to see... I was waiting to see if we could see that girl walk. Well met, Kinsman. Now, I hadn't tried this particular walk before, so that's interesting for the girls. That does work probably. That might work a little better than the other than the other walk that is definitely over over saucy, you know, extreme. So this is not a bad thing. Now, is it... I'm the commander of the guard here. It still affects the little girls, though. But at least that's not as bad as the other. But it does affect the little girls as well. All right. Well, hmm. Okay. Looking for my husband, Nazim? Check the Jarl's backside. That's usually where he stuffs himself these days. All right. Thank you for that little bit of information I didn't need. Cause trouble in White Run, and I'll haul you into the Dragon's Reach dungeon myself. Well. Alright. So, anyway, I wanted to look around at the NPCs as well. So, it looks like it works for them as well. fun getting pushed around all the time. And we could definitely... We'll, we'll try this out for a little while and see what we think of it. And you can still do the 360 walk and run to yourself so I'm not sure why we need all that in the other mods if this little mod does it for us um, and it does do it does produce the little animation to the little physics which I thought this was kind of a small mod for that uh, so this is like I said part of the animations workshop so I'm going to show you the mod this mod appears to be working and everything appears to be fine. Um, My boys will keep you safe. Don't you worry. But I'm just gonna look here. What can I do for you? All the girls seem to, you know, have this same walk. It's not awful, and it's not as uh, 
it's not as sexualized, I guess, as the other one, though it's still, you know, it's still there. Hmm, depends on what you like. I may try this for a while, though. All right, okay, so let me show you the mod. Hi, sir. All right, so this has been Victoria's High Heel Walk with BBP. Now, this is by XP32. It looks and works pretty good. Um, this was ported by Mick Dundee 101 by XP32. Now, it is with BBP, so it has its own thing, and it's not compatible with other walk animation replacers like TBBP. So, you have to choose one or the other, and in this case, that means if I do use this, Morgan Helsing's XP32 Maximum Skeleton, I probably can't use that. I'll have to use the other XP32 Skeleton. It's fine. That's the one I used for a long time anyway. But it's just something to note. You really don't need two skeletons, so you can use either one. So this is an interesting take on the, uh, the, the catwalk style thing. So I may try this for a while just because it's different. It's only, it's under 471 kilobytes. It's not very big. If I do a comparison, let me just show you in my load order. Uh, down in the animations, if I do a comparison, um, this skeleton is slightly smaller than that. But if I use this, I'll have to use this skeleton and that. So it's probably going to end up working out still slightly smaller than this, but not by much. Not much at all. Um, still mainly going to be about, you know, within probably within 10 megabytes of each other. So so if I use this and combine it with that, I will get the effect. And I'll just, you know, this one has TBP, TBBP and ragdolls and all that. This is everything all in one. But if you want to, you can use this. This doesn't have TBBP. And then you can pair it with something like this that does have and do the TBBP for you. Uh, is that making sense? This is part of our animations workshop and I'm trying to communicate this correctly. Um, this is a skeleton with ragdoll, ragdolls and force, okay? This is a skeleton with ragdolls and force and TBBP animations. So it's got three things wrapped into it. So if you don't need that, then you would just use this one and then you would just use like this animation or whatever gives you the TBBP, which could be this one in this case. So I'm probably, I'm probably going to go with that. I don't know that I'm going to keep these animations. From what I'm seeing, I don't really need this. Um, I'm still getting the same ability to walk toward the camera without it. So you may need this in certain instances. If you don't use some of these other mods, you may need this, but... It doesn't appear that I need it. It, it appears that I might, that I can still do that with these other mods. So, all right. Um, if I find out differently, I will let you know. Let's see. Is anything else? Nothing else on this. That's been Victoria's High Heel Walk with BBP. Okay. So that ends this little section of our animations workshop. I'm going to do another. I have one very small and very simple animation mod to show you, okay? All right, thanks for watching. Hope you have a wonderful day, and I uh, will catch you later. Hey! What did you do that for? You some kind of maniac?